when I say Houston traffic does not want me to be great, like, I swear, I can never get to Austin on time. Like, it takes me forever just to get the hell out of Houston. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have tried to record this video legit, legit. This is my third time. Not today, okay? But I tried to record it last week going to Austin. I also recorded last week coming back from Austin but I'm in this space now where if you've been subscribed to me for a while and if you haven't please make sure you subscribe um, but if you've been subscribed to me for a while you see me lose the weight and lose 70 pounds lose 100 pounds and you've seen like my mentality um, towards it then you kind of know that I'm really like a like kind of like hard like um, very just like no excuses mentality and all this type of stuff right so you guys are used to me but I've had a problem recording this video because I've almost been kind of um, this guy see what I'm saying about Houston I've always I've almost been kind of like kind of wanting to censor myself a little bit and that makes me uncomfortable um, I don't ever want to be censored and I don't ever want to be fake and so I'm at this point where I'm like I don't want to be censored I don't want to be fake um, but I also care about people and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings so it's it's such a strange place for me um, to take in I'm trying to take into consideration everyone's feelings how people might react to this and um, let me just go ahead and start with like what made me make this video so I've been wanting to address this for a long time but a few weeks ago I made a post on Instagram and I'll put it up on the screen and it was a post of it was a before and after and I said the caption was why something like why didn't someone tell me I looked like a stuffed sausage biscuit okay now again if you've been following me you know I say things like this all the time and it's legitimately like when I look at a picture like that that's really what I think I'm like where were my friends like I'll even tell them sometimes like why y'all didn't tell me I'll ask my family and stuff like nobody thought to say like hey like you know something's really going on you need to lose some weight um and so these are like my legit feelings never any malice intended towards anybody else it's just how I felt and how I well it's how I feel when I look back on those pictures and so I made this post and a girl left a comment under it and she was very very kind and I know that she wasn't she wasn't being any type of way about it she was just leaving the comment to ask me I think rhetorically really um, if I would ever thought about how something how a post like that may affect somebody who looks like my before picture and is trying to lose weight now my immediate thought when I saw the comment was like to answer her question was no um, and I feel like the reason that I thought like that and that I still think like that I'm not I'm not backing down from how I feel um, but yeah that was my immediate thought was like no like I because it's not about anybody else it's about me and it's about me to my old to the old version of myself as well so um, that was kind of my initial thought then I got to the point where I was like you know these are the types of things that I said to myself and that I still use as motivators when I'm going to work out when I you know when I'm having a hard time going to work out when I am um, having a hard time resisting temptation of food and stuff like that these are things that I say to myself and you know I realize that some people may view this as so harsh and mean and and critical of, of oneself um, but for me these are just things that motivated the crap out of me like a lot of things didn't motivate me okay for example I was diagnosed pre-diabetic when I was a hundred pounds heavier I had um, achanthosis nigricans my knees hurt my body ached I was uncomfortable in my skin a lot of those things did not motivate me 
to lose weight can you imagine i go into the doctor i have this fasted blood test done blah 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 you know get my results back doctor's like yep just as i suspected you know you're pre-diabetic and you're lucky that you aren't a full-blown diabetic and you have time to do something about it so lose the weight or you're going to be full-blown diabetic like shooting yourself up with insulin and whatever you know um and can you like that didn't make me it was kind of like i've seen so many people in my family go through diabetes i remember giving my great grandmother her um her shots of insulin i remember giving my grandmother um her shots as well so it, it's almost like i was kind of numb to that kind of stuff that didn't motivate me so really what motivated me was to be honest aesthetic like I once I got to a point where I was so big that I did see it and um, I was so uncomfortable with how I looked the achanthosis nigricans or nigricans started taking over my face and that's when I was like oh no so I would do things like I would set my alarm to wake up um, because for me when I was in the like in in there like starting to lose weight and everything like the very very beginning phases in that like right when I lost around um, I'd probably say within the first 50 pounds of my weight loss I was in school full-time I was working full-time and my my schedule was crazy guys so I was having to get up like I would at least have to get up at 345 I had to be at work pretty early like 637 so I'd have to get up at that time to make sure I could get to the gym to work out workout shower I worked in an office so it's not like I could just show up like I had to at least try to put myself together and so that was the thing so I put myself together get to work work all day um, get off of work and have to be at class now it varied sometimes I had to be at class like within 30 35 minutes of getting off work sometimes I didn't have to be in class for like an hour but either way I had to be in class right after work and so after that I would go to school go to school from um, 5 like 5 p.m. something like that to 10 at night right so the only option other than obviously working out late at night the only option was to wake up in the morning so I would have trouble getting up in the morning I would make excuses I would snooze 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 so I would set alarms and the alarms would be crazy like you know I'm not I'm gonna censor this part because I don't need you guys judging me I really don't y'all already judge me but I really don't need y'all judging me on this one um so I would set alarms and the alarms would be stuff like get up um do you want to be fat forever that was one of my favorite ones like do you want to be fat forever so I would like the alarms would be crazy because it would be like 345 350 355 4 405 right so like every five minutes I would set the alarm and it would just be something crazy and I'm not even gonna say some of the things because it's like you know once you put something on the internet it's out there so anyways I would set these alarms you know do you want to be fat forever you know get up make a change whatever I would have like pictures and um, just different ways to motivate myself same thing when it came to like eating and stuff like that I remember I went through this phase of like eating naked and just like I would be so critical of myself like you want to get rid of this you need to eat well I forgot where I saw this whole thing like it was like a tip or something that someone had posted saying to eat naked it worked for a while you know stuff like that um, but I always was very very hard on myself I would say fat had to be like my favorite word in my vocabulary like I would just remind myself that I was that and then I would tell myself that I didn't want to be that anymore and you know whatever it took to get there getting up early working out on my lunch break some days working out early in the morning whatever meal prepping all of that was just the stuff that came with it and I needed something to motivate me so I talked crap to myself um, and you know now there's like this huge thing of like fat shaming and this and this and that and I'm like you guys again if you've been following me you know I did a, a video like a while back where I talked about like fat shaming I really don't understand it I don't understand um, you know I don't understand like 
what is fat shaming the definition of it i'm sure i could look it up i'm sure somebody's gonna leave a comment and let me know <laughs> um but i just feel like no one can really make you more ashamed of something that you already are and i still stand by that statement so if people were to call me fat and whatever else like what does that really mean to me like okay i obviously at some point i did know that i was fat so people telling me didn't make me feel any type of way so going back to the the comment it's like when she when she asked this question i was just like no like i didn't think about how this would affect somebody who was maybe still in that state because for me when i was in that state other people saying things about how they looked um or how they used to look meaning other people posting their before and after pictures didn't affect me because it didn't have anything to do with me and um i can even remember like one of my really good friends losing weight one time and she was like away at college well, maybe i was still i think we were both away at college we were just you know in different cities and she lost all this weight and she posted a like a picture in a bikini and i was like whoa you know so i'm like girl what did you do and her response to me i will never forget it she said i stopped eating like a crazed piggy y'all i was done it was so funny and it was it just rang true to me and i was just like oh wow like maybe i just need to stop like overeating like i understood what she was saying but i bring that up because it didn't make me feel any type of way about myself i didn't feel like she was like throwing shade at me i didn't feel like she was judging me i didn't it didn't have nothing to do with me she was telling me what she did and that was her way of putting it so i was not i was totally unaffected um i wish that back then i would have got together and stopped overeating um but that you know i asked her a simple question and she gave me an answer and it was hilarious so when i think about stuff like that that did not affect me now i realize everybody is different and some people may be affected by things like that so i just want to put it out there that when i post something I never mean to offend or hurt anybody's feelings. I'm always posting something, talking to myself, unless I say otherwise. So if I'm saying, why didn't anybody tell me that I look this way? That's how I feel. And I cannot censor my truth for other people. I just can't. So I realize that I can lighten the blow. There's like different ways to put things when I'm talking to other people but when I'm talking to myself guys I'm gonna say like what I mean and say because there's there's too much fake stuff going on anyways there's too much fake crap posted on the internet and like especially on Instagram and you know people are posting teas and all types of just ugh, just so much fake stuff that it's like all I can do is be real if there's nothing if there's nothing that you like about me or respect about me or care about me one thing you can say is that at least she keeps it real so i feel like i'm not going to start censoring that now um but i just wanted to clear that up and i kind of wanted to like show you guys or tell you guys how i got to where i am i do believe that all of those um, alarms that I set and all of the crap that I talked to myself really worked and understand that this is not something that I did all the time this is something that I did when everything else wasn't working it was like a last resort it was like okay like you haven't worked out in four days tomorrow or whatever you know you're gonna get yourself up and you're gonna work out so it's like I start setting these alarms so these were the motivators that just like really kicked me into gear when everything else kind of failed and when I was really slacking off and I was just not making progress these are the things that I did so when I say I fashioned myself not fully knowing the definition <laughs> you know but when I say I fashioned myself I really did and it's like you have to know whenever you're on this journey to lose weight when you need to treat yourself with kindness and when you need to allow yourself to have grace and you also need to know when you're bsing like man this like society just coddles the crap out of everybody oh my gosh now we're like 
body positive and if you say anything about obesity then you're fat shaming and it's just like I'm so over that crap like I just cannot be fake in that way I just can't to say that like I'm on board with all these things would be a lie and I'm just not here to lie um and and that's how I felt whenever I was motivating myself in these ways and mind you I still do this I still set goals for myself now even though I've gotten the weight off I still have other goals that I want to that I want to accomplish and you know ways that I want to sculpt my body and change my body and and whatever and just have consistency and not fall off and stuff like that so I still use some of these things to this day um, and again I it's like there's some pretty pretty bad wording um, that I'm not gonna say because you know y'all just uh, you know not y'all but I know I know you guys who rock with me get it but the people who don't and who may see this video may not understand and they may take it the wrong way but I really appreciate her leaving that comment um, I wish I had gotten to record this video sooner but I appreciate her comment because it did cause me to pause and reflect and think about my feelings and it just caused me to be I guess like clarify that yes I do feel this way and that's okay because I, I'm you know I'm allowed to have my opinion and feel the way I want to feel just like anyone else is entitled to their opinion as well so I really want to know you guys opinion in the comments let me know like how you guys feel about this I want to know everything from like you know how you feel about fat shaming if you feel like it's a thing do you think that um being hard on yourself is conducive to weight loss you know like how how do you guys feel about this leave a comment and let me know and also give this video a like make sure that you guys are subscribed i just want to close out by saying that there has to be balance it can't be like a constant like just negativity and harshness on yourself but you also have to be careful that you're not giving yourself too much room um, to where like it's like every single day or every single Monday you're starting over then that's not good either so you have to figure out or find that balance of like when you're gonna give yourself some grace like I said and when you're just gonna be like girl get it together get it together because you're not you going you know what is the point of taking 10 steps forward and two steps back every week you know you're slowing down your progress or, or if you're taking two steps forwards and three steps back like you're never going to get to your goal coddling yourself like society i just wish society would shut the heck up they're coddling the kids they're coddling the the fat people everybody's just being coddled like nobody just i mean like we gotta have we have to experience like like things have to be hard you know what i'm saying some things have to be hard and difficult for you to get through them and you can't just always be so easy on yourself like sometimes you got to realize like when it's time to kick it into gear so you know be nice in the comments not to me i don't i don't care what you guys say to me but be nice to each other in the comments and i'm really excited to start this discussion so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all next week bye